It seems like some 90 Day Fiancé cast members may never learn, despite countless typically deal-breaking offenses committed by their significant others. Several notable 90 Day cast members have refused to remove their rose-colored glasses and see the reality of their sometimes bleak situations. While a few have eventually acknowledged the issues and broken things off with their partners, many still maintain their idealism, hoping for their personal happily ever afters. The glass half-full 90-day cast members come in different varieties. There are those who are overly optimistic about their relationships, regardless of their partner's refusals to follow through. There are others who take their cheating partners back over and over again. There are also a few who seem to overestimate the love that their partners feel for them. Some of these idealistic cast members are in the most tumultuous and controversial relationships in the franchise, or used to be. Some might say these cast members are hopeless romantics, but others contend that they are simply delusional. Whatever the reason, it's these controversial people who bring drama, such as control issues, to the 90 Day Fiancé franchise. Without these optimistic people, the on-screen action might not be quite as thrilling and memorable. However, the mindsets of these cast members can sadly lead them to heartbreak. Jenny Slatten when Jenny Slatten first explained that her relationship with Sumit Singh began when he catfished her as Michael Jones on Facebook, it was clear that this couple would be interesting to watch. Sumit had already scammed Jenny, but she didn't seem to care. The shocking reveal of Sumit's wife, whom he had kept a total secret from Jenny, made viewers question if his relationship with Jenny would last. Even now, fans still wonder if Sumit is leading Jenny on, with no intention of actually marrying her. Meanwhile, Jenny seems to be jumping through hoops to be with Sumit. She left her family in America, she's been berated by Sumit's parents, and she's even willing to become a hair Krishna devotee if it means that she gets to stay with Sumit in India. These warning signs that the audience has clocked seem to have no impact on Jenny's view of her relationship. Her shockingly positive outlook may be to her detriment, or perhaps her rose-colored glasses will help make her dreams come true with Sumit. Ashley Martson Ashley Martson's turbulent relationship with her husband Jay Smith was often difficult to watch. Ashley, a hairdresser from York, Pennsylvania, met Jay in his home country of Jamaica, and the two eventually moved in together in America and got married. Just a few days after the wedding, the young tattoo artist Jay was caught perusing a dating app. This was the first of Jay's known indiscretions, and things only got worse from there. After another cheating scandal, Ashley filed for divorce, but she withdrew the paperwork a few weeks later and gave Jay another chance. A few months after that, Ashley filed for divorce a second time, once again accusing Jay of infidelity. However, less than a year later, the couple reconciled once more. Fans were left wondering if Ashley would ever get real and grasp the fact that Jay was a serial cheater who wasn't likely to stop his womanizing ways. As of December 2020, it seems like Ashley finally came to her senses. She officially divorced Jay for good. Nicole Nafziger from the start, many 90 Day Fiancé viewers were skeptical of Nicole Nafziger's relationship with now ex-fiancé, Azan Tefu. 
The couple's dynamic has intrigued audiences enough to be featured on several seasons within TLC's 90 Day Fiancé universe. Throughout her time on the show, Nicole appeared obsessed with making her relationship with Azan work, despite countless red flags. Azan, a Moroccan fitness trainer, notably took issue with Nicole's appearance, and she would make promise after promise to lose weight. He called her lazy several times, causing Nicole to view herself as not good enough. Azan also infamously commented that he was only 55% attracted to Nicole, a remark that fans will likely never let him live down. Audiences continued to question Nicole's perpetual optimism in the relationship when she heard Azan's voicemail recordings to another girl, which were heavily flirtatious. She accepted excuses from Azan and seemed set on getting married. However, recently, the two announced their split. While it may be difficult to believe, Nicole has woken up. Caesar Mack. To say Caesar Mack was overly optimistic about his courtship with Ukrainian Maria Devine on 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days would be an understatement. Caesar spent his season convinced that he would be meeting Maria in Mexico, despite never having met her in person. Fans counted the red flags, certain that he was being catfished, as Caesar recounted the thousands of dollars he had sent to Maria during their relationship. When Maria cancelled her trip to Mexico, it seemed like a confirmation of the scam. But she showed up in person at the 90 Day Fiancé tell all to reveal her side of the story. While he wasn't catfished, he still failed to see the reality of his situation with Maria. This makes Caesar a notably delusional 90 Day Fiancé star. David Murphy. Caesar Mack walked so that David Murphy could run. David appeared on 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Day Season 4, claiming he was in love with a Ukrainian woman named Lana whom he had talked to online for seven years, but never met face to face. Fans were immediately suspicious and believed that, like Caesar, David was being scammed online. There were several plans made for David and Lana to meet. But Lana kept cancelling with different last-minute excuses. David was happy to explain it all away, insisting that he and Lana were truly in love. It was an absolute shock when, at the end of the season, David actually met Lana in Ukraine and proposed. His love interest said yes. The two later called it off, with Lana suggesting the engagement was just for the TLC cameras. David's rose-colored glasses made him believe that Lana was as obsessed with him as he was with her, which many fans strongly doubted. Corey Rathgeber. Although Corey Rathgeber is far from blameless in his relationship with now-wife Evelyn Villegas, he has come off on the show as much more optimistic than he probably should be. The couple met when Corey was vacationing in Ecuador, and they began a long-distance relationship until Evelyn moved to Corey's hometown in Washington. She only stayed for a short while before she decided she couldn't make the place her home and insisted on moving back to Ecuador, with future hubby Corey later following her. Throughout their time on 90 Day Fiancé, Evelyn has maintained an apathetic attitude towards Corey and their relationship. The pair admitted that while they dated long distance, Corey sent upwards of $40,000 to Evelyn and her family, but she and her family have not appeared grateful for his generosity. 
Evelyn made it very clear that she had no interest in marrying Corey, which must be heartbreaking to hear from your significant other. Her cold demeanor has earned her 90-day fiancé villain status, but she did marry Corey in the end. All of these cast members leave TLC viewers scratching their heads and shouting at their televisions. The will-they-won't-they they dynamic of the relationships adds to the allure of the 90-day fiancé franchise, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats. They wonder if these idealistic cast members will ever see the light. While some have done just that, others still seem to have their rose-colored glasses on.